Tifu by looking out into the woods seeing a mountain lion. Tifu. I live on a mountain in Maine. On this particular mountain there is confirmed at least one mountain lion living here. It was twilight and I went outside to check on something. I looked out into the woods behind my shed. I froze. Less than 50 feet away from me. I saw a good sized mountain lion. Looking like it was getting ready to stalk me. I could see the position of the legs and the face. It looked like it was ready to start running. I turned around and started running. After a few feet I stopped. I thought to myself. Could I even make it back inside the house before this big cat reached me? And then I thought. No don't be prey turn around and fight. So I took a deep breath turned around started looking around for the lion. I was preparing myself to be the aggressor. To go on the attack. To hopefully scared away. Couldn't see it. I carefully went back to where I first saw. There it was exactly like I saw it a few moments earlier. My brain started to catch up then. I took out my phone I took a picture and zoomed in on it. There is something off about this mountain lion. The reason it wasn't chasing me. It was a tree stump. Joy. I nearly had a heart attack. Good to know that I was willing to face a mountain lion and didn't freeze. TLDR. Tifu by nearly having a heart attack. Seeing a mountain lion when I looked out in the woods. Only to find out it was just a tree stump. HTTPS preview.red.it slash 7kxf5f5uyiga1.jpg width equals 2268 and format equals pjpg and auto equals web pnv equals enabled and s equals 0f0c97dc43a3f2a99fo5640a53a066ed884fc2e2 if i saw that i'd puma pants Glad it wasn't a mountain lion. But if at all possible next time. Freeze and assess the situation thoroughly before moving. Running is the worst possible thing to do for almost any predatory animal. The chase instinct is very strong and they can easily outrun you. As a default practice. Back away very slowly without making eye contact. I do recognize that just like each individual's fear of heights is pretty hardwired into their brain. Our own instinctive reaction is also pretty hardwired. Fight, flight, freeze. But it is possible to learn to handle your gut reaction better. For what it's worth, if you are fortunate enough to see a mountain lion yes. I said fortunate the chances of it attacking you are damn near zero. Ask anyone who has done any wildlife biology work in their habitat in California or Colorado. Mountain lions will come up and sniff at trail cameras and poke around a research site. Five or ten minutes after the researchers leave. And then trip them all the time while they're up. Those cats probably sit and watch them set up their equipment half the time. There are tons of places frequented by people in Yellowstone. Yosemite etc. Where you could spend a day hiking and probably never be more than a mile or two from the nearest mountain lion. And yet people almost never see them. You should spray paint the stump or something for future. And so a real mountain lion can't sneak into its place. So, Yuo stopped, thought about it, for a while, turned around, didn't see it, you went back to find it. You were about to fight a mountain lion with what? Your bare hands? And since it wasn't behind you, you went back to find it? Let me tell you, that part wasn't courage. Next time don't do that. Unless you have a gun and the target in sight. It does look like a mountain lion. What's the opposite of PSPSPSPS? I know the stump isn't stalking you. But because there's a chance of an encounter. In addition to facing it and making yourself seem larger. Keep the back of your neck covered even if just lacing your fingers over it. Don't let the cat see your nape. 
That's where they prefer to bite and kill you. And still you took the picture from afar. They are quite common in California. A friend of mine went camping. Sleeping in the open in a national forest he said when he woke up in the morning. His sleeping bag was circled in cougar paw prints, like inches away. It looked like the damn thing found him. Came up. Walked around. Sniffed him and left. I'll rent a cabin thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.